What's up everybody, it's Timo and today we're talking about something interesting that's my pool skills and what else I actually got idea after thinking about that. So uh, earlier today I went to this mall called Promenada which is the biggest mall in Southeast Europe also known as Balkan and it just opened like seven days ago nine eight days ago and i went today it's black friday or some people call it white friday because it's not all that black so but that's a topic for another video and when i um was going back i was talking to my father i mentioned that every time i play pool i remember the first time i ever played it and it was with him and he taught me how to play it and i was really really bad i didn't even know how to hold the stick and I was holding it like this and it was horrible, but uh, I like playing pool and even when I lose, I still enjoy myself and well, not the losing part, but the playing part. And I kept playing for, well, now it's more than 15 years. So when I go play in bars and people ask me, hey, how are you so good? It's not because I'm talented at it. No, I'm still bad at it. And my eyes are like mixed a little bit. So even when I line the shot perfectly, it still does not go in perfectly because well, my eyesight is a little bit. But saying that uh, I practice for 15 years, not every day, not even once a month, but usually during the summer, I play more often than the winter less so, but I kept playing for 15 years. And that's why I have a good understanding of the game and how to uh, proper, how to play it. So it's not, uh, when you play against me, uh, I don't uh, look at which ball I'm playing right now. I'm looking at what I'm gonna play next and what are you going to play where where the white ball is going to land and in case i miss my shot what's your opportunity or in case i make my shot what's my next move so i would maybe risk uh losing the ball i can make it easily so i can position my white ball to be in a be better spot and that comes with experience, with practice, how are you gonna call it? So whenever I'm doing something else, I expect immediate or success in the near future. And I have to realize that it does not go like that. I have to practice for 10, 15 years before, you know, uh, making it. In, that's just a funny thought experience experiment I had is that, you know, uh, this one thing called playing pool, how I did practice it for almost 15 years, thought about it, watched it on TV, play the game on my phone or computer and played in real life, watch other people play it in real life and that all those things combined develop that sense of the game and that's sometimes why I don't lose a single game a night and I think I went a month without losing a game which is uh, really good because <laughs> whenever I go out I try to go and play pool especially in America because that's my favorite bar it's called pool and pizza so <laughs> I love pizza, I love pool, let's go. So, uh, that's what I wanna talk about is that um, you have to develop that, you know, a sixth sense, that second nature thing. It's not only do you have to learn about something, you have to experience it and like be there, be present and um, Malcolm Gladwell, I think, talks about 10,000 hour rule. So if you do want to be an expert, you have to, you know, put in 10,000 hours of work. And I'm about to read this book called Bounce. And 
in that book, spoiler alert, the guy talks about how practice is more important than talent and then he did an experiment with a genius level kids uh, and they were doing math against people who were cashiers so I don't wanna be rude or looking down on anything but if you're a cashier that's because you're well not good at anything else like so that's why you're a cashier but before computers cashier had to do math in their head and even though it's a simple math 10 plus 5 is 15 you give them 20 so that's 20 minus 15 equals 5 and they give you five dollars in change even though it's a simple math they were doing it 40 hours a week for 10 20 40 years so they were competing against the genius level kids in doing math and when it comes to simple math like that doing calculus in your head they were actually able to beat the genius level kids every single time so it's not about your iq it's about repetition, about practice, about um, developing, you know, routines, making it become your second nature, your sixth sense, you know, just developing the feeling for it. And of course, the genius level kids could comprehend higher level theories and do math like that. But when it comes to simple math, that's where they were not even close so same thing with pool i have this one friend and he's really good at it he was like amazing i played with him for the last eight years and he was always better than me but i just played more games and i surpassed him just because I played more games, not because I'm better. So yeah, practice makes perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.